I lost 38 kilograms. Now I'm not exactly sure if I was at my heaviest in this picture, but I was 110 kilograms at my max and it was 72 kilograms at my lowest. Now yes, this is probably a little bit too low and yes, I did lose a little more muscle mass than I'd ideally wanted to do, and I'd definitely do things different if I were to do it again. But I don't think it's that important. I think the most important thing by far is the sheer fact that I actually did it. Because most people, statistically speaking, most people can't. I actually lost the weight and I kept it off long term. Now, yes, I did slowly start to build on muscle after that. So technically I increased in weight, but that was intentional. I lost the fat. I successfully turned myself from a fat person to a non-fat person. And so people often ask me, Rob, how did you do it? What exact diet did you eat? What dietary approach, what exercises did you do? How did you do it? And whenever people ask me this question, I give them one answer. Whenever people ask me, how did you do it? I tell them, I lost weight because I wanted to lose weight. There's, there's everything there's to it. It does not matter what exactly I ate or what exact exercises I did. I lost the weight because I actually wanted to lose weight. I was motivated to lose weight. I mean, think about it. There are people that lose weight on a vegan diet. There are people that lose weight on a keto diet. There are people that lose weight on a, an if it fits your macro diet, where they just eat cheeseburgers, but they count their calories. And at the same time, there are people on all these exact same diets that fail to lose weight. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what diet you pick. No matter what diet you pick, there are always people that either succeed or there are always people that either fail. The exact diet you pick does not matter. And now don't get me wrong, obviously it matters for other reasons like overall health reasons. One diet might be a lot healthier than another reason. And one diet might actually be better, more effective at helping you to lose weight than another. Yes, there is differences between the diets. But whether or not you actually succeed or fail at losing the weight and actually keeping it off, has nothing to do with what diet you pick, but it is 100% mental. It has everything to do with how motivated you are. I actually studied nutrition and dietetics here in the Netherlands, which is like, that's like the real deal. If, you, if you've completed that education, then you can call yourself a dietitian. You know, like the, the real dietitians that actually treat people and stuff, the professional real deal dietitians. Now, I did not become a dietitian in practice because that's not the career that I aspire. But I studied the stuff. I have the legal right to become a dietitian if I want to. I know a lot of people like ex-classmates that became dietitians. And so I sort of know what's going on in the world of dietitians. I can guarantee you diet, gi giving people the perfect diet does not help. You can give someone the perfect diet with the exact right amount of caloric deficit, the exact right ratios between the macronutrients, making sure that they get all the micronutrients, giving them an exercise routine that ju burns just the right amount of calories that goes hand in hand with the amount of caloric deficit that you've recommended them in the diet, etc., etc. Perfect diet, perfect exercise routine, doesn't matter. If the client is motivated enough to lose weight, the client will lose weight with or without the perfect diet, with or without the dietitian. If the client is motivated to do it, then they don't even need a dietitian. It's, it's literally pointless. And if the client isn't mentally ready to lose the weight, then giving that client the perfect diet isn't going to work either. If you aren't ready, if you aren't mentally in the right state to lose weight right now, then going to a professional dietitian, getting the perfect diet is going to change absolutely nothing about it. And now again, don't get me wrong. I am not trying to say that it's not worth spending time trying to educate yourself on what an actual healthy diet is. In fact, I think healthy eating is very important, which you might've guessed by the fact that I studied nutrition. By all means, educate yourself on what an actual healthy diet is and what an effective weight loss diet is. Because you might not want to make the same mistakes that I did where I just ate way too little food and I lost a bunch of muscle mass. But the point of this video that I'm trying to make is this. If you are struggling to lose weight right now, 
or struggling with any other thing in life, because really this is a metaphor for other things as well. If you are struggling to do it, then trying to look for the perfect weight loss diet or asking other people what they did is not going to be the solution to your problem. The solution can only be found by asking yourself why you want to do it. Not how that you need to do it, but why you want to do it. The why is so much more important than the what or the how. If you develop a strong enough why in life, that's, that's everything. You can't do it without the why, and if you have a strong enough why, the what will automatically follow.